At Euronaval 2024, MBDA unveils a new member in the world-famous family of Exocet anti-ship missiles, the SM-40, designed to be launched from submarines. Stefano Bertuzzi, uh, you are business development and uh, sales head of naval systems at MBDA. Can you please first tell us what are the main features of the new SM-40 anti-ship missile? Uh, first of all, uh, welcome, uh, Xavier, in our premises. Well, the SM-40 is the successor of the SM-39. It's a submarine launch uh, anti-ship uh, missile. It's a famous anti-ship missile. And uh, it uh, drives uh, all the experience also coming from the MM-40 Block 3C. In the Exocet family, it's uh, a read across between all the, uh, the products and we are introducing the latest technologies inside the SM-40, uh, such as the coherent active RF coherent uh, seeker that you know from the MM-40 Block 3C. So in fact, it's a mini-me of the MM-40 Block 3C that we put in the capsule, uh, the classic SM-39 uh, capsule. So it's a well-proven uh, solution that is meant to be used uh, on uh, submarines. Compared to uh, SM-39, uh, what are the new performances brought by the SM-40? So the main change is the fact that on SM-39 you had a full uh, solid propulsion. Nowadays we are using a turbojet engine. The missile is reduced uh, compared to the MM-40 Block 3C by 50 centimeters and the range is reduced compared the, uh, to the MM-40 Block 3C but it goes up to 120 kilometers so it's more than double the range of the SM-39. Uh, Why is uh, such an increase in range uh, standoff? Why is it important for submarines? So one of the main reasons is that versus time, the performance of the surface ship to detect a submarine has increased a lot. In, back in the past, detecting a submarine at more than 50 kilometers was quite challenging, eh? and that's why the SM-39, the range of the SM-39 was 50 uh, kilometers, basically. And nowadays, surface ship with very powerful uh, uh, sonar, they can detect at more than 100 uh, kilometers. That's why we, are, we have this SM-40. And remember, bear in mind that the Exocet SM-39 or SM-40, it's mainly for self-defense of the submarine. It means that if the submarine has been detected, it can use this uh, Exocet in order to attack, the, uh, to attack the, uh, the target and move away because it's far and forget and uh, you can continue your mission. Stefano, as you mentioned, SM-40 benefits from uh, the new technologies uh, brought by the uh, MM-40 Block 3C, especially the new coherent seeker. Can you remind our audience uh, why is this new seeker key in a very heavy electronic warfare environment? So first of all, what is mandatory to bear in mind is that people are looking for a 24-7 operation, whatever the weather condition, whatever the uh, electronic countermeasure uh, environment, etc. So here, this brand new technology keep up with the environment and especially the electronic warfare. Uh, nowadays, if you want to field such a, a weapon system, you have to be at the edge of what is uh, achievable for the 30 years to come. Because when you go for such a solution, it's for 30 years in your Navy. Yeah? So it's, uh, it's a key capability that we can offer today with no risk, because if you look at the capsule, it's exactly the same capsule as the SM-39. It's a mini-me in terms of the MM-40 Block 3C. Yeah? So it's a no-risk solution for our, for our customer. And we've been working on this solution for some time now. And what is the current status of the project? So the current status of the project, first of all, is that we are in a position to offer to our customers as a solution uh, to equip their submarine. And bear in mind also that we only equip Naval Group uh, submarines. It's a plus on, on the market and to reinforce uh, the operational capabilities of naval group uh, submarines, uh, basically. So it, it, it's really a plus to have such, a, uh, such a, a solution. Stefano, is this new missile for the domestic French market or for export? 
Well, uh, this extra set SM40 is, the, is for all the customers wanting to have a new generation of anti-ship solution for submarine. It's you have to bear in mind that it's uh, in conjunction also with the long-range cruise missile, the naval cruise missile that we can offer. And it's a matter of sovereignty yeah, for most of our customers around the world. It's a unique time where you have all around the world a lot of uh, submarine campaigns. Yeah, and that's why we want it to be up to date yeah, in terms of our weapon uh, solutions. Lastly, uh, Stefano, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, maybe uh, other mission sets for the missile? Can it strike uh, coastal targets like MM40 or other targets? Exactly. You have embedded the same features as the one for the MM40, basically. So you have literal attack capability. The objective of such a weapon is not to have a long-range cruise missile, but much more the first mission is really anti-ship. But if you want to attack a ship at harbor, for example, you can use also the, uh, this exocet. Very well, Stefano. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you.